Hello viewers and welcome to the Udu Finance Club. Today I'm going to show you how to do bank reconciliations. So the first thing you do is to ensure your banks are created in the system, the chart of accounts is done. So you can see here I want to import a statement into an equity bank here, which is a dummy account for demo purposes. And then you see here there are some payments that have gone through. So I've created a dummy statement which you are going to import. So let me show you how the statement looks like. So when I open the statement on Excel, so what you're going to do is you get your statement from your bank and put it in this format. It's a very simple format. The three columns are enough, but you can add more if you need to. So we have our date there. So we have our date. And then we have our amount there. And then we have our label. So the label represents uh, the reference that comes from the bank. So once you're done with that, when you're in the system here, you click on import file. And then you select the bank. Then you, it's uploading. So the file will load, and then after that is done, you can see it's a very simple. You just click test to ensure that everything is well mapped to the system, and it says there everything seems valid. Once you see that is okay, you just click on the import, and you see eight records have been imported, and you can see now our bank balance stands at seventy-five thousand one hundred and eighty-six. So if you click here on the journal name for the bank, Equity Bank, you are going to see the statement on the side, on the, on the left side, and then you are going to see your cash book transactions here on the right side. So all you need to do is to match them. So let me start with, for example, this entry here. This is a positive, is money in. You can see customer payment. So I can come here and filter. So you see it's right there. But assuming you have so many transactions, you are able to come here and filter maybe by maybe incoming so that you'll have a slim, a slimmer area to check. So for example, I just click on that. It goes blue. Just go up and you click validate. All right. So that is done. Then a transaction like, for example, this one is a bank charge. Most of the time, you've not posted this transaction in your cash book. So what do you do? So Udo comes with the, a functionality where you create a model here. Yeah? So you create a model in such a way that a certain transaction X goes to a, a, certain, a certain account. So you just create the model. So you can see here I've created a model called bank fees. So the moment I click on that, you see here it's sitting at the bank suspense account. So if I want to push it to the bank charges, I click on it. I click on the bank fees there. And already you can see it will go to the bank charges expense account. So once that is done, you just click validate. Then you go to a money out. This is money out, 2,500. I can come here and check if I have anything like that. So I can filter here and check the outgoings. And then I'll come down here and I'll see there's nothing like that. So assuming I know this one maybe is an office expense, for example. So you can either book a bill and then you pay, or you can create a model towards this one. So let me show you how to create a model. So you come here on the gear icon, you click create model. Then maybe this is an uh, office expense, office expense. So you leave it at that. It's very simple. There are many other ways you can uh, do that with these other rules. Rule to suggest counterparty entry, rule, rule to match invoices. But let me use this one for now. So maybe this one goes to maybe office consumables, 100%. You can also break it down if you need to. And then after that is done, just save. Go back to your bank reconciliation. You click on it and you see now we have office expense there. So anytime you'll have a transaction that's going to the office expense, you just click on it. You click there and this one automatically changes and then you, you validate. Okay. So again, maybe I'll reconcile this one. You can see this one is right there. So I just click on it. Then you scroll up and you validate. So it is as simple as that. Now another transaction type I'll show you is this one. Maybe the director or the investor has injected some money in the company. So you can also click here. You can create a rule if you need to, but also you can use something we call manual operations. So you click on the manual operations there. Then you scroll down. You see everything is sitting under the bank suspense account awaiting to be allocated in the right place. So here you can come and change the account maybe with capital. So I'll select my capital there. 
maybe the, the person who put the money in is me, Director Julius there. So once I'm done, I just click on validate. Okay. Again, here's another transaction, a bank fee maybe. I just come here on the models, I select a bank fee and I validate. Okay. It's as simple as that. We go to the next transaction. Is it existing? I come here, I check any outgoing. It's not there. So I can just validate the same. I just go there. I can come here on the manual operations. Maybe I want to put it in another account. Maybe maybe it's an asset you bought. You can just put it there. You just validate. But the most prudent thing to do is you have your bills first and then you pay them off. Okay. So for example, this one. 11,600 has an existing bill there. So I'll click on that there. And then I just click validate. Okay. So that is done. So assuming you've made a mistake, maybe you want to change something, maybe you, 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 you want to change this one to something else, you click here reset. It goes at, as an unreconciled and then you can, then you can validate it. You go there, bank fees, and then you validate so that is done if you go back to your dashboard you'll see you only have a few transactions pending so you can see reconcile one item there is the only one remaining you scroll down there you click there you just scroll up and you click validate so once you're done the system will be there happy rainbow the banner they are telling you all transactions have been reconciled. So if you go to the dashboard now, you check your bank balance is 75,186. If you click here on the bank journal name, you'll see your bank balance is that as per the cash book and your statement balance is that. So it's as simple as that and Udu has made it very simple for you. And if you need to add any, any notes on any of these transactions, you can come here and log a note. You can put any activity, maybe you want something, something to ask anyone in your company, something you can do that. So it's as simple as that. Thank you for watching this video and look out for more. Subscribe and click that channel. Thank you.